Hi, welcome. My name is Chris Davis with PC Addicts, and I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to set up dual monitors in Windows XP. Um, what, what I got today, just a Dell dimension. Uh, what is the model? It's a 2400. It's got a clean install of Windows, meaning I just installed Windows on it this morning, uh, or no, I'm sorry, last night, but that's irrelevant. So there's nothing really on it. I did test it out, make sure it runs. All we have right now is the current onboard video. Okay, we're gonna try to set up dual monitors using an external video card. Well, not an external video card, but just a, a PCI slot video card. Okay, it's a NVIDIA 5200FX. It's got dual VGA ports. Oops. Some of them you'll see out there, especially nowadays. One will have a DVI port, and the other one will have a VGA, or they'll both have DVI ports, which is just a a newer, uh, it's just a different port. Uh, okay, so all I'm going to do is pop it in one of these empty PCI slots. I've already have already have the cover off on the back. Push it in. I always put the screws in because you don't want to plug in your VG your uh, monitors to this card and then have the card start sliding out and angle out. You could short out the pins on it and short out the, uh, your video card and or your motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this back on. Okay. I'm going to set it back down below. You're not going to see this, but I'm going to plug, since I have the card in now, and I already pre-tested this, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and plug both monitors into the new video card. Okay. You know, it, I know... I always wonder myself when I put when I install a new dual monitor card, which ports do I plug the left monitor into and which port do I plug the right monitor into? Basically my philosophy is just plug them in, we'll figure it out later. Let's plug it in, make sure to boot up. Okay. Alright, we're booting up. Right now it's just mirror mirroring the image. What well, what I want to happen, what I want to do is make this my main monitor with the start menu, the clock, and everything. And this one, I want it, I want Windows to extend over here, so I can drag more Windows over here. I get the I get asked a lot on how to do this, so I figured I'll make a short tutorial, and hopefully this might help some people out. It would have helped me out when I first started doing this. Okay. Right now it's starting over here. I don't care. Maybe I have them in backwards. I don't care at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. And we'll configure all this in a minute. Now it, it, is, a, it is recommended to disable the onboard video card. I'm not going to do that at this time. I just want to make sure I can get this up and running. Okay. Uh, I am getting this NVIDIA Display Setup Wizard because previously I did install a, the NVIDIA driver. Uh, so I, we're going to skip over that. Uh, normally when you get a video card you get a disk, a CD, just pop it in there after you install everything and just install the drivers and then you'll come up to, to uh, some sort of a wizard. I'm going to bypass the wizard. I'd rather just configure it myself. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go into device manager just to make sure that we don't have any problems uh, within there. I just want to make sure that it sees the uh, the card and everything. Yes, NVIDIA GeForce, uh, okay, you can't see it from there, but I have no yellow exclamation force or uh, marks or question marks or anything, so it's good to go. Um, I'm gonna, For right now, I'm going to go ahead and... I did already disable the onboard video, so I apologize. I didn't get to do that now, but um, you, next time, go into Display Adapters within your Device Manager, right-click on the onboard, and just disable. It wants you to reboot. So just reboot it and plug both your monitors back into the into the new card. Okay. So at this point, how do we get this one to be on the left side, and how do we add the other monitor? What I want to do first is I want to go ahead and just switch the the monitor cables on the ports, just so we can start off with the the left screen as my main one. Okay. Um, right click on your desktop somewhere. It doesn't matter where, just not on an icon. Go to Properties. Click on the Settings tab. And let me zoom in a little bit. Well, it's going to be kind of poor quality at this, this moment. But I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm in the Display Properties, um, where it says Display, and you got a drop-down box. You've got 
two monitors. Okay, you got monitor one, monitor two. Uh, I'm going to click on monitor two, which is over here. And if and if you didn't know which one is which, they do have there is this identify button. You can hit that, and you can see it, it'll put a one on this one. And if this one was connected and working properly, you'd see a two. So as long as we know that this is one, what I'm going to do is click on number two. I'm going to click here where it says, oh, sorry guys, trying to hold the, the little webcam. You click here where it says extend my Windows desktop onto this monitor. Okay, once you do that, I'm going to hit apply. And we'll see what happens. Yes, and did, 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 did it work? I'm not seeing anything. Why is that? It does show quality is, is 8 bit. So let me try to adjust some of these. Why? Yes. I'm just right now I'm just adjusting the re resolution and the color quality. And it's not extending over there. So this is where troubleshooting comes into play. And this is just perfect. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Identify, see it's still not showing up. Hmm. Well, since I do have norm normally that would work, but I'm going to go ahead since I already installed the NVIDIA drivers. I'm just going to go into this real quick. Standard setting. This is this is not good. You guys aren't going to be able to see this too much here. Um, there is in the NVIDIA control panel there is a setup multiple displays and that's that's why it's not working uh... it's set for only use one display single so i can choose the same on both displays and it's still not going <laughs> there it goes okay i don't want to do the same right i want to extend it so i'm just going to go ahead and sit, hit yes and, and say yeah that's what i want to keep but i'm going to actually do what i'm going to do is go uh, blah, 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 blah. Horizontal span. I'm gonna try this one. And this is this isn't good because you guys aren't really able to see what I'm doing here. Actually, that extended the whole thing, so the background is gonna look funky. So I'll just leave it like that for now. Well, now here you go. You got dual monitors with a taskbar that goes all the way across and your clock and everything's over on the right. Now a lot of people don't like that because I don't like it because sometimes when you got a lot of windows open and you have uh, a bunch of tabs down here in your, in your taskbar it'll kind of overlap on both. So I'm going to change that and hopefully I can change that. I'll have to go back into the control panel. But anyways, you guys can mess with it. But that's that's the basics on setting them up. This was a little funky just because I have pre-installed the driver already. Um, and normally you can just go into your Windows uh, system properties, or not system properties, your display properties. By right clicking on your desktop, go to properties, click on the settings tab, and then you can adjust it right there. Um, just, just click on extend my Windows desktop onto this monitor and it should work fine. I'll probably do another tutorial I'm doing that and this one might I might leave this one up as well but uh, since it was kind of a we had a couple issues there in the middle so hopefully that helped you uh, that's the end of this one and guys we'll talk to you later don't forget to visit PCX.com bye for now